Where, where, where? Hey, hey, everybody, how you doing? Hi. Um, so with this lamp, what's the deal with this lamp? Is this uh, is this actually uh, is it better if it's like that? I mean, how do how do how do I get it to work here? Uh, is is it still crooked? Does it looks crooked? Doesn't it? Don't you think it looks crooked? I mean, what, like, how do how, how, how do I get to work here? Uh, what's going uh, on? Right? What's going is, wrong? Is, 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 is that better? Does, it looks crooked. Doesn't it? Don't you know, think it looks crooked? I mean, what, where are we at here, kids? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what's going on? I don't know. What's going on? Is, 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 is that better? It's a trick room. It's all it's all 3D effect. It's all. Let me get rid of that. Let me get rid of my own voice. So you just you know. So it, it 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 looks like it's. I'm doing the best I can. Look, uh, I just want to thank you guys yesterday. Uh, all of you guys yesterday who helped me figure out this. Uh, with these remotes that I have here. Uh, I got CNBC on over here. <laughs> I'm not going to bore you and show it to you because <laughs> paint dry is what we're talking about here. Uh, we've got this guy Powell talking right now, and uh, but I will tell you that uh, the more he talks, uh, it seems like the markets are going higher. Uh, it seems like uh, oil is going lower. Uh, so you know, we're up 51 points on the Dow right now. Um, we're up 19.8 on S and P, and we're up. Uh, we're up about 119 on the Nasdaq. So, so the markets are higher with with the, the Fed's uh, decision and all that you know stuff. So we'll, we'll take it. Uh, shares that we're following. What a day we're having here! Holy moly, macaroni! A uh, Rocket Lab 14.89 up 64 cents was just under 15 dollars like 10 minutes ago. Just about hit 15 bucks. That was a new high uh, for the we last little while. SoFi up 56 cents to 23 up uh, 25. Uh, 22 million traded. Um, it's coming on. And um, GameStop, $218.44. What a day we've had on GameStop. I mean, look at this chart uh, this morning, right up to 255 here, then down a little spike, a little lower, a little higher. Wow. A low of 208, high of uh, 255.69, volume now 10.59 million. About 6 million of it was in the first hour, hour and a half. Four million for the rest of the day. Uh, the enthusiasm has <laughs> gone way down. Now, those of you who have written options, you wrote, you ro rolled over your old contracts, you wrote new contracts, uh, or you wrote co wrote contracts for the very first time. If you wrote contracts today, you had no, you weren't doing rollovers. You just wrote call options. Uh, the stock hit 230, 235, 240, 245, 250. You wrote options. Uh, you have all got to be higher on this deal right now. You've all got to be laughing at uh, the drop off on your contracts. I know that Rob was uh, mentioning here that he had written some contracts today, and that uh, uh, he had bought back a two ten that he had written earlier. I can't remember if he wrote it for sixteen bucks. I can't remember, but he had written a two ten. He bought a two ten back for forty one dollars. Turned around and wrote a two thirty for. $51, bringing in 10 bucks more, 1000 bucks a contract. <clears throat> and now that contract has backed off <clears throat> into the 31 32 neighborhood. So he's ahead $20 on that contract falling because the stock's from 255 to right now 218. So he, he, he's got a $20 gain on that contract. If he buys it back now, he locks in a $20 profit on that contract. Uh, but you do you do all the math, you know. He paid. I, I, I'm assuming he paid 16 for it. He sold. He bought it back for 41, so he lost 25 on it. But he got 10 bucks more for the, uh, to making a 20 dollar profit on this other one, which which takes 20 of the 25 dollar loss out of the picture. And you're sitting there going, Ah, you see, Bruce, you can't make money writing options. See, Bruce, they're losers. This is why we don't do it because we don't want to lose our shares. Uh, we're not going to write options because you can't make money on on a market like this. But you, you forget one little detail uh when he wrote the original contract uh, the 210 contract his stock was at oh, 205 210 uh, his stock is now 218 uh, he's up 10 15 dollars a share so he might be down on options but he's up 15 on his stock he's richer he's doing just fine um and he has the ability if he buys this contract back he can write now another contract all over again he could write contracts that die this Friday, he could write a contract that dies this Friday, say a two fifteen or a two twenty, and those are going for nine ten bucks a pop, and he could bring in two ten dollars in two days or a fraction thereof. Again, it all depends on his game plan and his 
is uh, tolerance of risk and everything else. So you can always keep writing. You always keep writing, and the time always works for you. You bring in money. I like it. Rob, you've got options uh, that you have choices in front of you. Which way do you want to go on this? So you just have to decide which one you want to go with. But I love the fact that you're ahead um, about 20 bucks on a contract you wrote earlier this morning. You're already ahead 20 odd dollars a share. I like the way this is going. By the way, those of you who are here today, thank you for joining me for this afternoon show for the last hour of the day. Um, we're just going to shift the, cha the, the uh, chat over to members only because, again, members of this channel can make comments, use emojis, ask me questions during the uh, training of the market. And I thank you all who have become members of this uh, channel. Those of you who are here as members, I love you guys. Thank you so much for following the show. Please consider becoming a subscriber if you're not a subscriber. i um, love to have you for that too. Um, guys, thank you. Decide for me, Bruce. Laugh out loud. What do you want me to do? Uh, well, you know, uh, the stock is uh, possibly uh, could back off yet again. I mean, it's 216 right now, up to, up nine bucks. Um, there is nothing to say that this stock can't be down on the day. There is nothing to say it can't. There has been, there's no corporate news. We have no announcements from the company. 215.88 is the stock right now. This stock could go back down to 205, be down two bucks on the day, two, three bucks on the day, and that contract of yours will go down to 26 bucks or something. I think you'll, you can clear 25 on it. Um, not a bad move if you clear 25 on it. On the other hand, you don't have to do anything. I mean, this thing's out of the money and there's $25 a share waiting for you to be enjoyed between now and January. I know you don't want to wait that long. Um, but uh, man, uh, the, the the way the stock is uh, is reacting here, uh, sure it's traded, uh, you know, whatever. What did I say? Volume wise, twelve, uh, ten point six million. Great, but uh, the stock is looking kind of, you know, so so now. But look at the the reason why this stock did what it did. GameStop went up in reaction to the story that came out all about. Uh, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. That, that's what we know. Bed Bath & Beyond started this whole thing last night when they made their deal with Kroger and, and they announced an acceleration of their stock buyback. And the rumor was that the shares ran up last night in the aftermarket because of short squeeze going on. I don't know if that's really the truth or not, but the stock did go to 32, at least 32 bucks last night, traded over 30 million shares. It hasn't seen $30 all day today, not even close. Uh, Bed Bath & Beyond is at $19.96 right now. It's only up $3.22 a share. Uh, it's just meandering along. It only got up to $25.71 during the market hours today. It was at 26 this morning at one point. It has had uh, 95 million shares trade, which is just a bunch of turnover. That's all it is. Anyone who, sh who got forced out as a short seller <clears throat> was replaced with a new short seller, in my humble opinion. And that happened last night. People who got out at 32, others got in at 32. Where did, who are they buying the stock from? Who, who, who sold them 30 million shares last night? Other short sellers. I think it was just a turnover effect that went on here, and we've had that going on all day today. So I kind of wonder... Wow, at 1997 a share on Bed Bath and Beyond. Um, where's the upside for all the shareholders? Uh, you're a long loyal holder of stock. You didn't get a chance to sell 32 during the market hours today. Not a chance. It traded 32 last night without you. <clears throat> today it only went up to 2571. Now we're back to this $20 mark. Uh, it's, there's nothing here. 214 on GameStop. The only reason GameStop went up to 255 was the word short selling, short covering. The mother of all short squeezes. All those terms are being bandied about about uh, with regard to Bed Bath and Beyond. And the thinking was, oh, GameStop's going to go because there's a big short position out there. Uh, that didn't happen. Uh, how much GameStop do you want? It's available. And did we trade 100 million shares today like we used to trade? Did we trade 50 million today like we used to trade? No. We've traded 10 million shares for the whole day on GameStop. The street is not buying into this one. It's not coming along for the ride and so uh, GameStop at 214 right now backing off it, nothing wrong with the company There's nothing wrong with the stock but at 255 yeah, there's something wrong with it overpriced overhyped uh, uh, exuberant buying for no reason and the stock the stock has come back and uh, hello here we are at uh, 214.20 a share on GameStop so theoretically Rob <clears throat> your shares could drop a little bit lower meaning those contracts you wrote will drop further. Um, in the next two or three days, they'll drop even more if this stock doesn't go back up again. But uh, for you as a short-term trader, you're looking for in and out trades. This is a pretty good one. You scored yourself a nice little gain here and you could theoretically just turn around, 
buy back this contract and now write contracts that expire next week, Friday. Uh, you could write two uh, fifteens and dare the stock to run again, or uh, look at it to, to back off and score some premiums on it. Uh, uh, bottom line is the stock you own is at two fourteen a share, and you didn't pay that much for it a couple of days ago, did you? Uh, what was it a week ago? One seventy five, one eighty, and you're now dealing with a two fourteen market, and so you're thirty forty dollars a share richer. And you're making money on contracts, and you're constantly writing them and letting them to depreciate. Two thirteen ninety two on GameStop, as it comes down. Anyway, Fenville, I cra- cashed out twenty contracts of GameStop, uh, two ten put for a seventy percent gain. Uh, back in with ten contracts for two hundred dollar put. Let's go down, baby. How about that? Uh, very interesting stuff. I'm gonna hold on to them. Uh, put in a stink bid in low twenty. See what happens. There's that too, my friend. Not a bad idea. Uh, the Kerry Savage. I know Uncle Bruce made people on here money today. Uh, just GameStop alone was a gift. If someone wrote a covered call for two fifty in the money and bought it back at two ten, you made five grand. Thank you, Uncle B. Way to go, you guys. I'm expect. I'm really happy to see this kind of money being made here, and it is. It is very much possible. Uh, Mirko, hey Uncle Bruce. Like you said, I rolled two covered call GameStop. Uh, 26 November strike 185 into 250 April 22s with a profit of 398 for the initial uh, November call. I did get 13 bucks, uh, 8 dollars profit in cash, and 13 grand in higher strike. And oh, you always make money. There you have it, man. Beautiful, beautiful job. I like this. Uh, this is good, good stuff. Um, uh, anyway, there you go. Um, yeah, Frumbler, I decided not to roll my November 5, 215 strike today. I, I didn't do it. Hoping GameStop goes back to 205. You know what? You're on your way. It's 214 right now. Frumbler, you too are doing it right. Um, whether you made a rollover or not, uh, the co- the stock is coming your direction. Very interesting. Do you think, Uncle Bruce, that the rumors on loopering caused any of the GameStop run? Maybe that contributed to it. There's a lot of people who are, you know, anticipatory about a lot of really neat things happening, and they thought they thought today was the day that everything would break out. Unfortunately, the company didn't deliver with a press release. That's the only thing that didn't you didn't get. You didn't get the company talking, and so today was a trading day. I don't know. It is what it is. Um, it it was a, an amazing amazing day. Um, what do you think about this uh, thing about Matterport earnings tonight? Matterport's coming out. They're going to talk. Earnings are going to be released. You know, the stock uh, hit a high today of uh, twenty five sixty nine, and who's complaining around here that in the last month it did this? It started way down here and went all the way up here today, and is hanging around. Uh, we're doing just fine. It was twenty. Um, it was a seventeen sixty uh, in the last month. Um, uh, back in uh, back in August, thirteen eighty seven a share. Uh, yeah, we're doing great. We're up ten bucks from then. Um, there's uh, I I have I have no uh, expectations of greatness for the monies uh, coming out there. The earnings. I have no expectations. Of great. I, I'm not counting on anything to to hold the market, to hurt it, to help it. I'm a happy guy. This stock is being picked up by investors worldwide. Uh, this invest this stock's being coming discovered. By investors worldwide we heard about it today in dubai there was a conference and a whole bunch of investors were exposed to matterport today for the very first time and went holy cow 3d uh, spatial imaging on every property in the world oh my god dubai can you imagine the kind of condo sales they can do in dubai and 100 story tower condos when they can have matterport they could matterport every one of these things and the aftermarket of this oh gosh the real estate market in dubai is massive they're going to eat this thing up. It's going to be huge, and there'll be buyer uh, buyers on the stock. Uncle Bruce, you don't think the loop ring rumors had anything to do with the game? Again, I it could have. Uh, Joshua, uh, no, sir. I ha- it had to do with the Bed Bath Beyond announced by the buyback yesterday. So AMC are in the uh, EFT basket. Nothing else to it. J G, hey, Uncle B, still a good buy to get 100 shares of Smart Rent now to start writing options. Look, uh, Smart Rent, um, yeah, you know, fourteen twelve. Pick this thing up, scoop it up, put it away. Uh, it's going to reach twenty and beyond. You can start writing options when it does that. Indeed, you'll make money there. I don't know because Loopring itself doubled in price in those rumors. Uh, Credit Savage, Uncle Bruce. Okay, so I sold twenty, twenty one fifty SoFi covered calls last week for this Friday, and I got a dollar premium. However, they're in the money, and they may close in the money. Should I buy them back or just let them expire on Friday? Um, you know, uh, figure it out uh, later today, tomorrow. Um, you might uh, you might buy them back and and uh, rewrite um, for next week, Friday, or the, or next 
month, uh, you might rewrite um, new contracts, 2250s, 25s, for even more money, uh, doing a slow motion rollover. It might be the game plan. Mr. Seneca, Uncle Bruce, you mentioned it briefly this morning. The Rivian deal offering SoFi users IPO shares. Do you think it's worth opening a SoFi account for this? Uh, anyone know the limits they will let users buy? Well, uh, you're not going to be. A, you're not going to get a lot of stock. I mean, you might be able to buy five, 10, 20 shares. I, I can't see you buying thousands. I don't think they're going to offer you thousands of shares on this thing. Um, what will the stock do right away? I don't know. If if it doubles and, and you can make a, turn a thousand into two thousand dollars, what's wrong with opening an account? You know, buying a thousand bucks worth of this stuff and turning it into two grand. Nothing wrong with that. I don't know if you can get that much. If you can only buy a couple hundred bucks worth and you might be up 20% on it, you might be up 30, 40, 50 bucks. I don't know if there's restrictions on being able to flip it out. I, I have no idea. So um, you got to investigate that one yourself, Mr. Seneca. I like the the overall notion of, the, of them doing this. I like the overall idea of them doing this. It's just another feather in their cap. I'm good with that. Um, GameStop won't go up that much because of ETFs alone. There you go. Um, yes, Dubai, Uncle Bruce, and right now Matterport is only using 1% of the total power they're capable of using. <clears throat> the company is in its infancy. They're calling it a pound-the-table stock. I, I agree. I think this is a winner. Um, it's, the stock will be way higher a year from now than it is now. This is a distant memory, but here we are. Those of you who bought this at 13 15 bucks, you're now laughing here at 20 whatever and um you know goes to 30 35 40 you guys are going to make a killing on it but you can make some really nice money on this stock and you can also write options on it now in my opinion you can start writing options and start bringing an option premium for your investment way to go Vanderbilt, joshua because loop ring actually is the rumor of something that they do just like computer share which is up to 40 percent when gamestop apes go to drs since january since September. Uh, Max, I sold a bit of MTTR today to pick up more Spire at under six bucks. That is a deal. Um, there you have it. There's um, reasons to make moves from time to time. We're up three and a half cents on ATIP, unchanged on Spire. ME up 31 to 1235. Matterport down 26 cents, 2365, getting ready for earnings. GameStop 214.85. Smart Rent 1410 up eight cents. We have been higher. Sextera up nine cents to 992. Um, AMC is up 118, but only at 39.97. Could not hold 40 dollars a share on AMC. 75 million volume, not enough volume to hold this stock. As I said this morning, it wasn't trading enough. Um, interesting, really interesting. IBM up 89, Dow up 62-ish, uh, uh, S&P up 23. It's way outperforming the Dow. Nasdaq up 134, way way outperforming the Dow. Uh, Nasdaq is up 0.85 percent. The Dow's only up 0.17 of a percentage point. Uh, five time performance on Nasdaq over the Dow today with this interest rate talk. Most interesting to see how this all is uh, working. Um, uh, oil at $80.35 down 4.2% today, uh, getting hammered. Oil getting hammered today. The speculators are, are running for the excess because they were thinking, oh, easy 90 to 100 a barrel price. We're going to have a cold winter. Uh, there's going to be a shortage of oil. Uh, no, there isn't. There's no shortage of oil. There's oil everywhere. Um, there's there's lots to process, lots to turn into gasoline and everything else. Uh, this stuff is way overpriced, but that's just just your Uncle Bruce uh, ranting away as usual. A Bed Bath and Beyond, 1974, a share down up 299 on the day. Now 1973, the low was 1942, and we might hit a new low on Bed Bath and Beyond. I don't know for sure, but I'll tell you. Uh, look at the stock. Um, uh, look at the performance of uh, Bed Bath Beyond in the last three months. We were way up here, and it came all the way down. And even with today's run, we're only back to here. This is not new all-time highs or anything like that. Sorry about the glare, but uh, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond has a long way to go to get anywhere near where it used to be at one time. It did touch 50 odd dollars once in uh, May, June, but uh, uh, in, the, in the high 20s, low 30s, all through the summertime, now we're at 1969 on Bed Bath and Beyond. <clears throat> Hardly inspiring. Um, Blackberry 1177. The high of the day was 1239. Uh, it too gave up a lot of ground here. Um, like I say, it had a good start, but it, it really petered out <clears throat> because this this story, this Bed Bath and Beyond story, as great as it is, as good as it sounds, I dug into it this morning with you guys talking about how Kroger is going to want a percentage of anything they sell on their website. 
anything they sell in their stores. That's coming off the top for Black, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't see where Bed Bath & Beyond makes a lot of money on this deal. I, I really don't. <clears throat> their, their product line gets better distributed. Their brand name gets better distributed. That's great. But I don't see them making a lot of money on this deal. Um, they have to give up 20, 30, 40, 50, 60% margins to Kroger on whatever Kroger sells. They get the rest. Um, if they sell it themselves, they get 100% of the sell price. If, they, if Kroger sells it, they might get half. Uh, how much is in half? They have to make it, distribute it, import it, distribute it, guarantee it, allow for returns. I don't know what's in there. Is Bed Bath & Beyond becoming a wholesaler now? They're going to have to sell triple the amount of merchandise to make just as much money. Um, that's not going to happen. I don't, I don't think so. I, I'm just, I don't think so. Anyway, it was a good piece of news today. Yes. But justifying a stock to go from 16 to 32 and stay there? No. Uh, Rocket Lab, 14.92, trying to push 15 again. Uh, SoFi, 23.08, up 40 cents. Um, GameStop, 214.61, up 7.62. Matterport, uh, down 20 cents to 23.71. What a day. Um, Spire, 5.74, that is a bargain. Yes, it is. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Um, let's take a look. I'm just, uh, just checking comments coming through here, folks, everybody. Thank you. Um, let's see. After listening to the morning show, are puts on Avis maybe a good plan today? No. Avoid like the plague that stock. Uh, do not touch that stock. Oh, man, are you playing with fire if you're into Avis? Uh, you're into anything of these rental guys. Uh, you are into fire, man. Um, not uh, not recommending that as a good idea. 301 on, on Avis, uh, down 56 bucks a share. Yikes. Um, no thank you. Uh, no thank you at all. 212 on GameStop, 212.94 now, only up 595 on the day. Uh, GameStop giving up ground now, um, or you know, giving up more ground from its highs. We'll see what's going on here. I'm kind of happy with Matterport either way, um, says Flesh Infection. Um, they missed their financial uh, uh, financial mark drop. I can buy, or they hit the market. I what I have goes up. Uh, I'm a happy guy. Uh, this is good. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. Um, uh, I kind of want to dare them to assign my SoFi. Um, I can take that money and buy more Matterport, and sell a cash-covered put on GameStop and join Rob and Fenville, killing them with options and buy more SoFi calls. Um, Mr. Seneca, sure, in the fine print, they say if you sell before the lockdown, $50 for the first sell, then $5 each. All kinds of details here coming out. James, um, Uncle Bruce, what do you think the general share price of Sexera will be seeing in a year or two? Oh, I have no idea. James, I don't know. Uh, um, could they uh, could they have made four or five major acquisitions between now and then? Could they have expanded their uh, their count of uh, server farms from what have they got now sixty one to one hundred sixty one? I mean, buddy, you're you're talking about light years from now. You're talking about the distant future. The shares aren't going to be ten bucks. Uh, that's not going to be the case. Uh, Sextera is nine ninety a share. They're not going to be here. Um, they're not going to be at nineteen ninety either. I don't think they'll be at twenty nine. They're going to be a much higher. But, you know, you tell me, you ask me what date and what's going to make it happen? I can't answer that question for you. I just I just smell something in the air here. Something's up on Sextera, and when the announcement comes out, we'll all go, oh, that's why they didn't talk. Just like ME. Uh, why didn't ME talk for months? Why was 23andMe so quiet and the stock went all the way down to 750 a share? Why, why did they announce at 12.36, up 32 cents today? No one's talking about them today. No one on here is talking about 23 and me. 12 30 is up five bucks, almost five dollars in three weeks. We're all used to it now. We're all like, oh, you know, it's it's nice. <laughs> we were all complaining about it three weeks ago. It's doing great. Well, Sextera, watch it. When it goes, it's not waiting for you. When Spire goes from 574 to 1574, it's not waiting for you. When uh, ATIP goes from 289 to 12 dollars, it's not waiting for you. Uh, you had your chance to get in, you chose to or you didn't. Uh, same with Sextera. Up. up to you. Uh, you guys got to decide whether you want in or not, but you got to wait it out. ME, those who waited out ME, those who waited out SoFi, are you happy now? Yeah, yeah, you're happy now. Uh, those who waited out Matterport, are you happy now? Yeah, you're happy now. Cheddar, um, GameStop, AMC, BlackBerry, Bed Bath, 
Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm 32. Buy all my games through Xbox. Haven't been to a GameStop since I was in high school. Same with movie theaters. Laugh out loud. Same with the BlackBerry also. Come on, people. <laughs> all righty. Um, I'm trying to decide whether I should buy back my 1217 call at 2250. I got 250 for it. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know. Cheddar stacks. All junk. Uh, Fenvel. Uh, Mr. Seneca. Um, uh, get in uh, get in the SoFi platform. We don't have to buy it. I'm being approved. I don't have to fund in there. SoFi says they would let me know when the IPO begins to roll out. Uh, Pick knows I'll try to roll my GameStop cover call to increase my strike by ten bucks and bring in five bucks a share more. There you go. Scooped up more Spire. Only down twenty two percent down on the whole thing. Beach Boy. Hi Uncle Bruce. GameStop February two twenties thirty six sixty. Is it roll over time or leave the buyback stink bids for twenty two twenty and fifteen twenty in there? What should I do? Uh, GameStop right now two thirteen oh two up only six dollars on the day. These two hundreds are. Are only worth thirteen dollars a piece in book value. The rest is premium. That's twenty three dollars a premium. You know the shrinkage is still coming here on the time thing as each day goes by. If GameStop does not take off tomorrow and uh, go to two twenty two thirty, and in the next week it doesn't go to two twenty two thirty two forty again, all these contracts are going to slump in value because people are going to go, oh, it's not happening. Oh, geez, I thought this was it. I thought this was the breakout of breakouts. It got to 255 and nothing happened after that. Games, a psychological warfare is going on here between buyer and seller. Uh, buyers have to have a reason to want to pay 255 for GameStop again. Anyone who paid 255, someone bought them for 255 today. Who paid 250 for GameStop? Who went long today at 250? I didn't go long at 250. Why would anyone go long at 250? Somebody did. <clears throat> Somebody bought those contracts off you guys at those high prices. Oh, are they getting crushed right now? These contracts were probably 60, 80 bucks at one point today. Now they're 36, 60 and still backing off. Beach Boy, <clears throat> leave your stink bids there. Don't do anything and just let the stock come to you. Right now, 213.21, it's coming back to you. Anyway, interesting. Uh, Mr. Seneca will sign up this afternoon. Thank you, Finville. Uh, Church to this. Smart Rent Frozen? Smart Rent Frozen? Uh, smart Rent, uh, $14 a share, down two cents. Uh, I haven't heard anything. Um, <clears throat> let's see, Evan uh, Thomas, uh, GameStop VP of Merchandise, just made a LinkedIn photo post from NFT NYC event. Hopefully, he will get some news today. Uh, I don't know. Chino, I averaged down on Spire, 1,000 shares. John, uh, Cheddar Stacks, I'm 41, and same on the four memes, same on those four memes. Um, Uncle Bruce, so uh, Royal Caribbean has recovered, and it's at 90 again. Well, it's a... Uh, it's a perfect stock to buy puts on. I'll tell you that. Um, not a fan of that stock. My my P profit loss is up 63% on Matterport and so far. I'm happy. Uh, I, you're up 63%. I'm assuming you're positive. Can't wait for them to be 100 so I can buy $85 puts for next June. <laughs> there you go. Jenner, um, I'm 27. Do you guys seriously not prefer going to the theater? Uh, really? Um, Jenner, uh, crazy because it's just not, not how... How I look at it, not one single person I know, which is many, goes to the movies, owns any RIM product, shops at GameStop or Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, yeah, hi, Bruce and Jen. What's up today? Sharon, it's been a quiet day today. There's nothing going on. It's been very quiet today. Uh, we've just been sitting here singing Kumbaya all day long with our favorite viewers, uh, thanking them for being loyal viewers of this channel. We're all waiting for something, anything to happen. There's just nothing going on. Total, total calmness total oneness within the universe total just a total ah uh, that's all, that's it there's nothing happening um well except the rocket lab is near 15 and so far is at around 23 and gamestop hit 255 today and, and matterport was over 25 dollars a share and a bunch of people wrote options and they're buying options back and they're doing really well but other than that there's nothing going on uh i like going to theater says andy joe spire price action is just bizarre um drops pulled back is ready uh it's ready in 95 minutes either way i win uh bama babe i enjoy the imax uh michael uh afternoon i see rocket lab is doing its usual roller coaster ride uh samuel i hate the movie theaters um why would i want to go out to that when i can cook and have my own surround sound massive flat screen no overpriced garbage popcorn and snacks there you go depends on your age and depends on your circumstances jennifer and i said goodbye to movie theaters we didn't realize it well we kind of sensed it but we knew for sure it was over when our daughter was born 
that was the end of the movies for us until she grew up to be old enough to go to the movies. But then those movies were the different kind of movies that Jen and I used to go and see. It's all over. And then once she grew up, uh, we could go out again. Uh, but then we didn't uh, like the idea of sticky floors, uh, getting in line, uh, paying outrageous prices to see a movie. Now with all the TV selections coming up. Yeah, we too grew out of the movies too. What can I say? Sam, I definitely don't have any desire to go to a movie theater at all. Thought it was a waste even when I was younger. Roach on the Street, get out of GameStop today and got into ATIP to 200 shares and Spire to 100. Here we go. <clears throat> Gentlemen, I would prefer to watch at home in my home theater. Same Bama, babe. Wish I had some powder for smart rent too. Sounds good. Credit Savage. Hey, Uncle Bruce. I hope you've had a chance to go to Pinky's Hot Dogs in L.A. Pink's. Uh, or tried some uh, poo poo sass at the Salvadorian restaurant. It's like eating angel wings. So good. Washed down with a Mexican bottle of Coke. <laughs> we haven't been to L.A. yet to really enjoy it. Uh, uh, we've been just enjoying this area here so much. We don't even want to leave the house. John, better snack options at home, too. Here you go. <clears throat> I meant it. <clears throat> Jenner, buy some uh, Xbox gift cards for GameStop and stop giving Xbox to your credit card number. We got 29 minutes to go. Uh, I think, and then our day is done, if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, we've got Rocket Lab pushing 1490, trying to get to 15 again. Uh, SoFi 2297 up 29. GameStop 21492. Matterport 2387, only down four cents. ME 1236 up 32. Aspire up three cents. ATIP up two. Smart Rent down six to 1396. And C. Uh, Sextera down or up seven cents at the moment. AMC at thirty nine eighty three uh, up a dollar four. Robinhood one eighty eight higher up two seventy seven on Vanek Vectors. Um, Home Depot up a dollar. IBM up eighty two. Dow is up eighty two points. S and P up twenty six. Nasdaq up one forty seven. Uh, they're doing great. The markets are happy with what's coming out of the Fed today. Microsoft up one twenty six. It likes it. Apple one fifty one forty eight. It likes the news. Tesla. 1200 a share, up $28, recovering. Bed Bath Beyond, 1946, up $2.70. Blackberry up 40 cents, 1180. Royal Caribbean, 89.95. Um, Goldman Sachs, 418.98, recovered from 412.50 this morning. Now 418. Uh, Amazon up 76 bucks. Facebook up three. Google up 11. Um, Cisco up 13 cents to 57.85. Those are some of the favorites that we like to watch. Uh, what's going on there, guys? 214.57 on GameStop. Um, okay, laugh a little. I'm not trying to be negative at all. So I apologize to anyone offended, but there are thousands of stocks to buy. Can we get past this junk already? Says Jeter. Adam Bruce, if a trader is willing to sell calls of SoFi, but not Spire, uh, does this make sense? Does this make the trader more bullish on Spire? Uh, yesterday you said it don't sell calls on spire but you seemed okay selling on sofi yeah i like selling on sofi because um i've always said once you get through 20 bucks into the 22 24 neighborhood you're going to get some decent call action you're going to get some good money for your stock you also have rollover opportunities and that type of thing you probably have higher option uh, volumes you might have tighter spreads cheaper stock uh like spire 577 I would not want to be a seller of options here at all. I just wouldn't want to be. Uh, because what I fear on Spire and what I fear on ATIP is we may have a day, there may be a day or two where the shares kind of inch up a bit, inch up a bit, and you know, they're looking good and you're feeling good about everything. And you've written calls, but you're not worried because they've only gone up 15, 20 cents on the stock and you're not too worried. But then the next morning in the pre-market, the stock is up $3 a share and they start trading like a Spire starts trading at nine bid and you didn't have a chance to get out of those contracts. You didn't have a chance to buy them back. You're now upside down. You're running and you may have a thinly traded option market. You might have trouble rolling over and the stock is going on you and you might get exercised. I just don't want to be writing on options that are under 20 bucks a share. That's just my, my way. Your way works if it works for you. It, it, it works for you. It's great. Uh, you're happy. You're happy. I'm happy. You're happy. Uh, how can I not be happy if you're happy? But I do it my way, and that's just it. Anyway, what can I say? Constanza tell you about the shrinkage? Did, did Constanza tell you? Uh, Lavalo, you can get Xbox Live cards on eBay. Always legit. Never been scammed for cheaper than GameStop. Xbox will sell you. Um, I've been doing that since high school. Stop, uh, Lavalo, stop giving people my credit card. That's what my dad says. Um, let's see. Anecdotal evidence is always true, ain't it? Um, 
Let's see, Uncle Bruce laughing out loud says, Bama babe, I just like the stock, says Liz. Uh, you know, Chris Savage, people need to have some darn patience. Uh, man, Uncle Bruce has done incredible due diligence on these SPACs and their money. SoFi Tank 2, Matterport, ME, they all recover. Stop complaining and buy dips. You'll laugh later. Well, this is the thing about the market. Uh, the hardest, the most expensive commodity in the stock market that you have to cough up is time. Patience. And so many of you haven't got it. Um, I get it. I understand it. Uh, have you watched any television lately? Have you ever watched like a commercial on TV and just sat there and go, how many times do they change the picture on a commercial in 30 seconds? Like a car ad, for example. Um, just watch a car ad and a 30 second car ad. I bet you they have 30 different images showing at you in 30 seconds. Not ever do they show a car and just zoom in on a car and talk over it and leave it at that. Never again will you ever see that like that. You see angles, cars moving, different colors, different styles, happy people, activity on, on the Jeeps and all that stuff. Angle, angle, switch, switch. Not even eight second uh, uh, holds anymore. Used to be the rule that an image on TV had to change every eight seconds. Do you watch your favorite shows like CSI or, or any of these shows on TV? You don't get the same image on television for more than eight seconds anymore. It's angle, angle, different shot, different shot. It's constant, boom, different, different, different. They want your eyeballs on the screen constantly because you think you're going to miss something. Commercials are famous for that. Uh, live television, uh, look, you watch NFL football, it's boring after a while when you see them all lined up and, they're, and the quarterback stand you're calling to play, nothing's happening. It's the only time where we sit there and watch something not moving. We're just, we're just watching. Why? Because we know the ball's about to be snapped and something's about to happen. With baseball, have you noticed when you watch the World Series, constant shots of the crowd, the pitcher, the catcher, the batter, adjusting his stuff, the manager just sitting there, uh, matter, uh, people in the bullpen doing something, outfielder picking his nose. I mean, there's never the same image. Constant trying to keep you engaged. This is right here. Patience. You folks don't have it because the folks who were born in the last 30 years, you have been bombarded with imagery and you're used to action. Those of us from the old days, we were told to sit down and shut the hell up <laughs> by our parents. And we were taught parents uh, patience the hard way. Sit down and shut the hell up. <laughs> we didn't have television that made things move like that. We couldn't believe it when Bewitched came on television in 64. We couldn't believe it because twitching the nose, something would happen on the screen. Oh, my gosh. It was incredible. It was magic. Uh, what can I say? Uh, we don't have patience. Uh, it's the hardest commodity to get. Theaters are for kids to smooch. There you go. Uh, you go out of your way to do that, man. That's most people do not use support or like the company. Most people are not buying those products through GameStop. Uh, come on, Spire, don't be so slow. See, there you go right there. A loud and rude people ruining the movie experience. I miss the movie theater, especially IMAX. Dune is a must-see in the format. Sorry, I bought back half my GameStop. But Beach Boy, sorry, I bought back half of my GameStop February 200s, uh, 3660 for 48, and wrote June 220s for 58. Should I roll the others or wait? Which, which stink bid do you, do you think? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this move. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this move. Um, 220s are, are, are out of the money. Uh, it's all premium. June, oh my God, six months and it's all. That's 10 bucks a month premium coming in. This is easy money. Um, there's nothing wrong with this move. You can do it for all of it if you want. Uh, whatever whatever it turns you on. 215.90 on the stock. The stock wants to go higher. You can do another rollover. I don't have a problem with any of this whatsoever. Uh, you're bringing in an extra $10 a share in cash. That's a thousand a contract in cash in your account to add to your arsenal of cash. That's a nice move. I, I don't have a problem with that. I'm 34, I'm not a fan of movie theaters, rather watch at home for sure. Cheddar, where is the revenue coming from? Where is this big new transformative plan? Um, Gaiote, and the kind of movies I like are not the kind that are meant for a theater filled with teenagers. I ain't into the superhero nonsense garbage. Um, I love movies, but since COVID, there hasn't been a movie worth the risk of going to a theater for. I'm old, and the theater is too loud. Um, Island Girl, young people skating out of the house to go to movie theaters. Um, Cheddar, um, uh, Fungazi, it's also a really good uh, post-punk band. Just in case you're unaware, uh, sure, the drinks are definitely better at home and cheaper. There it is. 
Uh, Michael Downs laughing. Um, Sharon, what what risk? Uh, movie theaters are empty. Um, Nancy, thanks for your advice to the Uncle Bruce. Still holding my GameStop 250 expiring Friday and my RCL put at uh, 175 Jan 21. Damn you, RCL. I'm still holding and waiting for the big drop. There you go. Uh, laughing out loud. I'll check them out. Uh, waiting, uh, waiting room, great song. Um, Michael, uh, just turned down the hearing aid. Uh, my <laughs> credit. Oh, man, oh, man. Sold some Matterport. $25 cover calls for April when uh, SP uh, stock price was in the 25s, and I just bought them back. Free money. Uh, $23.68 on the stock. How about that? I like making money even when I'm not in the target demographic. Uh, he, he says, Ori, uh, Michael, yes, also a minor threat before top notch. Uh, good, good. Spire is just too. Uh, too checked right now for writing covered calls. Too cheap right now for writing covered calls. That's what you're saying. I agree. Uh, hell yeah, Michael. Um, I was I was big into NYHC scene in my youth. Are the computer shares doing this? Um, I, I, if I was in GameStop, I would have listened to Bruce this morning and wrote um, um, uh, covered calls or got out. I hope for some of you that I am wrong, but some just just some but some what but just paddling a boat in the ocean that ran out of fuel. Um, Hope you're correct, Mr. Cheddar. Not not sinking, just a drift. Uh, wait for a dip before buying more SoFi. Thank you, Bruce. Great answer. Gives me a lot to think about. I appreciate you. Thank you, Adam. Um, Michael, uh, that is so awesome. Believe it or not, there was a little scene here in Oklahoma uh, back in the 2000s. Um, I'm happy with Matterport and SoFi. Uh, Michael, believe it or not, there were some scenes across the country. Uh, credit um, to all of you who sold some Rocket Lab $20 cash covered puts. And got the $10 premium. Let's not get greedy. Those are now in the mid-sixes. I'm hoping a bit more of a push, and I'll buy them back. Yes, those are going to keep dropping the higher the stock goes. $14.88. Uh, those puts are only worth $5.12 now, book value. And the stock could go much higher than this. Uh, that's why I watch Red Zone, Bruce. That's why. Um, uh, Sharon, here's the irony. I'm usually catching up on email when commercials are on. And so many commercials have catchy songs, but they don't mention the product name. It's wasted money to run those ads. Interesting, isn't it? From there, I'm listening to Uncle Bruce to help teach me patience. Time is your friend in the markets. So true, Uncle Bruce. Uh, God bless Scott Hansen. So true. Uh, true that, Uncle B. Um, uh, smart rent too expensive for a new position. No, it's not. A smart rent is not too expensive. This stock is going way higher. See, it's thirteen ninety six. It hasn't even started yet. Because of God bless Uncle Bruce and Jen uh, drops. I figure about two, three more weeks till Spire has a breakup. I have patience and keep stacking at the cheap price. I just got ten, fifteen dollar calls on Smart Rent for a buck eighty eight. Uh, they expire in March. How about that, uh, Cheddar? But last week it was quite. The, it, I was writing covered calls for two hundred. And so how's that going to end up this week? Gold posts are moving here. GameStop 216, uh, DQ, Nancy, uh, I'm holding 70 RCL January's freaking RCL. Um, the Yank Beach Boy, do you not think GameStop has news on the horizon in the next six months? The price action so far based on the shorts who are trapped under GameStop eventual explosion, don't mortgage your exposure. Look, uh, if the shares uh, uh, back off to 190, these contracts collapse. I mean, they go down to $22. There's huge profits here. Uh, you don't need to wait till the end. You're just gambling on the movement of the stock. That could be done. SoFi 23, 23.03 right now. I'm showing 14.88 on Rocket Lab, 2.16 on, on GameStop, 23.68 on Matterport, 12.35 on ME, Spire up 3 cents, ATIP up 2, Smart Rent 13.96 down 6 cents, Bargoon and Sextera up 4 to 9.87. What a run. The market is up 88 points, a uh, new record high. 27 on SP, record high. NASDAQ, 154, record highs. These stocks markets are going to have record highs today, 16 minutes away. I'm taking mental notes today, laughing out loud. Ron Williams, Curtis Savage, and Uncle Bruce, you are so right, so spot on. Patience, patience, patience is the name of the game. You've got to buy your calls back on dips. Take small profits. Keep your exposure yours. Maybe not writing covered calls on Spire, but just isn't buying some options far out on Spire still a good idea? Yes, it is. Uh, go way out. Yes, it is. It's fine. Uh, DM, that's just looking at it from a different angle. I never would have uh, been in to begin with, but I would have used a huge run today to get out. Uh, Paul, Bruce, you read my question about waiting for a dip before entry SoFi, but didn't answer it. What do you think? Uh, you read my question about right waiting for a dip before entering SoFi. 
Uh, well, SoFi, I don't know if there's going to be much more of a dip. I don't know. Uh, look, we've had dips on SoFi. We went down the 13-something. We're now 23-something. Numbers are coming out on SoFi shortly. We know that. Uh, but uh, the awareness of SoFi is building dramatically. This stock is becoming discovered by the globe, and it's trading like it. Um, we could be in the 30s in no time on SoFi. So, yeah, buying on the dips, not a bad idea. Uh, writing call options, 25, not a bad idea. Doing rollovers, if you must, not a bad idea. Love the SoFi. Adam, yes, many of us have bought calls on Spire for 22. Um, I mean, RCL, $700. I was up 1100 right after I bought it. Oh, man. Um, I say, yeah, for sure. Um, what else is going on here? Not too far out of the money. Um, let's go, let's go. Uh, people have been saying don't write covered calls on GameStop for months now. Meanwhile, people are making thousands and still own their shares. Classic. Exactly. Um, and Nancy DQ, let's learn. Grab the big fast profit. Uh, laugh a lot. Out of your depth here. I love money. Love making money. That's why I'm doing it elsewhere. Uh, Max, with all the activity, I looked in the corner and saw a sleeping dog. I named him ATIP. Um, yeah. <laughs> Gambling is a perfect bird. Uh, buying, selling, any calls, puts on games are pure gambling because the movement has nothing to do with the retail investors, fundamentals, news, etc. I'm all out of mental note paper. Uh, patience is the game. Uh, is the game. Finally, I'm up on several of my stocks, says Oscar. Gregory saw Dune in theaters. It was hilarious. I don't think it was supposed to be a comedy, though. It probably shouldn't have hit my buddy's THC vape a pen beforehand. When uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000 on um, I'll sit it out, see what happens tomorrow. Uh, Oscar, making new investments. Uh, I wrote over 300 contracts during Spire to go up. I better quit while I'm ahead. I got out of almost half. Um, Cheddar, who's out of their depth? Buying a stock and holding is literally the easiest investment strategy there is. Some of us are coming up on long-term capital gains soon. Liz, okay, I uh, just bought some smart rent shares. Uh, Erico read a nice article this morning about why ATIP is undervalued, uh, writing this 250 January 23rd contract out. I uh, got nothing done today on my day job so far, says Paul. Um, I'll have to keep on holding it. Joshua, where did all these haters come from? I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Really, you know, sometimes that, that's how it goes. Anyway, um, you know, you got to gotta, gotta take your shot and go from there. 1491 up 66 on Rocket Lab. Good day. We're up 20 cents on SoFi, 2288. GameStop up 10 bucks, 217. Good day. Matterport down 23 cents. ME up 30. Uh, we're up seven on Spire now. Uh, ATIP up two. Down eight on Smart Rent. Up four on Sextera. There you have it. The, the Dow's up 110 points. Good day. Uh, that's the Dow. SP up 30. Good day. NASDAQ up 164. The best day. Up 1% on the NASDAQ. 0.67% on SP. Up 0.32 on the Dow. Good day. Good day. Uh, what can we say? It is a good day. Um, selling a leap is not you owning your shares. You get the premium because the other party sees the upside. Your loss. If you choose close your covered calls for profits, that's keeping exposure rolling. Isn't Chris Savage a dip on SoFi? Bruh, we'll be lucky to see SoFi twenty one again. QR numbers are next week and bank charter around the corner. If any more analysts give it a twenty eight thirty, it'll be fly. Buy 2022 options now. There you go. There's a there's a there's an endorsement. Howdy y'all. Yippee Kaye is in the house. Um, we are down to 12 minutes. Uh, just hold and make money in peace. Michael, thank you. Um, it's cute that holding a profitable position pisses people off. It's funny. Aspire taking a shot. Uh, is that right? Uh, go spire, go spire, go spire, go. 581 up seven cents. Take a shot. I have a few shareholders here that watch this show. Uh, there you go, fourteen ninety one on Rocket Lab, two seventeen on GameStop. Woohoo! Dune was awful. I like the turns they uh, they too. They will they will take uh, they will extend the book to three movies. Usual effects were amazing. The, the visual effects were amazing, but Dune was awesome. Oh, it was awesome, not awful. It was awesome. Chris Savage liked it. Oh, sorry about that. Um, I like the turns they 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 too, and they, they will extend the book to three movies. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations. Glad you like it. Aspire, 581 up 7. Yay! Dow up 120 now. We're into the last 10 minutes of the day. The Dow is surging. New record highs. S&P, 31-point gain. Record high. NASDAQ up 165. Record high. Oil, $80.06. Crashing down 5%. 4.59% falling off big time. 
interesting aspire taking baby steps um rolling will get you more premium and more time to buy back the dip it works like a champ i agree i totally agree i love rolling bruce when it comes to time to sell any stock do you sell when you reach a certain percentage gain or when it reaches a certain price value trying to learn how to fish here just don't want to fish look um if you're up uh you, you bought sofi at 14 dollars. it's now 23 dollars, and you're now writing options you're never selling you're never gonna sell you're gonna write options that's how you sell you sell against the stock short term, take the premium and the, the time depreciation and write again and write again. Do what Warren Buffett does. Buy cheap, hold forever, write against the stock and bring in money. What's wrong with this picture? Rinse and repeat. Ayipikaye. I wish drive-in movies were still a thing. Not that I could go to one in Germany, but still, you know. Um, uh, Finneville, that's true until news comes out over the weekend and GameStop pops to 320. Hasn't happened yet uh waiting for it i think we're having a melt up folks um sell what sell what why uh, what no 14.90 on rocket lab 22.92 on sofi 218 on gamestop 23.54 on matterport down 37 me 12.36 up 32 spire 582 up 8 atip up one and a half cents smart rent 13.90 down 12 and sixter only up two cents that's the deal but the melt up is on the stock market the big market we're looking good we're looking fine 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 rocket lab 14.90 up 65 cents cheers to all of you around the world who are watching me live nine minutes to go in the day thank you all of you for your support being sub sponsor members of this channel those of you who are who are, who are uh, subscribers thank you for being here too love that you're here got a video coming out later tonight keep your eye open for it see if you uh, like the video today I'm talking about what happened on the market here um it's been an interesting time to say the least 218 219 on gamestop now 219.56 looks like up 12 dollars 57 cents I love the fact that you guys are making money on GameStop on the stock. You're making money on contracts. You're doing rollovers. I love it. SPACs are on fire. One million traded Spire looking bullish. Cheers. DQ, I adjust. Work is so dull in comparison to the market lately. I can handle that. Thank you. Do you ever wait for your contract to be exercised? Or do you continue to try to roll over and start again? You keep rolling over. You keep writing. You keep writing. You keep writing. You keep writing. Making money on writing. 219 on GameStop. Spire, 580 up 6 cents. SoFi, 2290. Uh, Rocket Lab, 1488. DQ, no way you'll, that you settle on the minimal rate that they throw at you. I usually set a little bit below the mid price. Works fine so far. DM, Fenville, most of us weren't happy at 450 or 350 or 350 or 250 today, so we're not happy. Bruce, is it okay to trade options before earnings? Spire has earnings next week. Is it more conservative to wait till after earnings? Just trade options. Just just trade options. Uh, don't worry about the earnings. Trade options. Uh, Mike, uh, yeah, me too. Been struggling to get my Cisco to roll today. Um, after hours, Uncle Bruce visit videos are bedtime stories. Uh, DQ, Fenville, good idea. I've been backing down from the max, but not getting it filled. Here you go. Sometimes you put in stink bids to get good deals, and you get lucky. Um, that's how this game works, too. Uh, Rocket Lab, 1493, trying to get to 15 again. We're down to seven minutes to go. SoFi, 2296. 97, just under 23. GameStop, 219, up 1288. Um, and Matterport down 32. ME, up 33. Spire at 582, up 8 cents. ATIP, up 2.5 cents. Smart Rent down 22, still coming in. Coming in cheaper, 1380. That's a bargain. And Sextera down a penny. Thanks, Bruce. Million dollars worth of GameStop with Uncle Bruce. Neat, 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 says Evan. Um, DM, I understand. I just take baby steps to make my dream come true instead of waiting, getting mad at Papa Cohen for not making it happen. There you go. There you go. AMC back to over 40. $40.48. Robinhood up 199. Um, Vanek, Vanek Vectors up 269. Home Depot up 164. IBM up 82 cents. The Dow is still holding a 92 point gain, roughly. Uh, Microsoft up 138. Apple up 163 to 151.65. Tesla up $37 to 12.09. Bed Bath Beyond 1931 a share. Um, just touched the new low of the day of 1920. Uh, backing off uh, 100 million volume that's equal to the entire existence of all the stock in the company there's a lot of turnover going on uh, the stock is only up 250 on the day blackberry up 31 cents royal Caribbean 89.65 it topped out at one what 90.34 uh, now 89.65 uh, goldman 
uh, down 642 to 417. Those are the markets. Uh, baby steps went out of the window with the buy button being turned off, says the uh, Rocket Lab. 14.94, trying to get the $15 with four minutes to go. SoFi, 22.99, one penny away, and it's now $23 on SoFi. GameStop, 218.79. Matterport down 40, ME up 34. Spire up nine cents. 582. Uh, is that the high today on Spire? Nope. 585 was the high today. Trying to get the 584 right now. We're at the high today. 585 up a dime here. We're trying to push it a little higher. <clears throat> 20 cents spread between low and high. I don't know if this is for real or just a little adjustment. I don't know. Um, we'll see. We need real movement and real volume. 1.1 million is good, but not good enough. We need more. Let's see what happens here tomorrow. Uh, ATIP 289 up two cents. Uncle Bruce, when do you think it's time to move out of growth stocks and move into value stocks? Uh, not now. Uh, Paul, Kevin, I'm launching a SPAC fill today. Um, will the NSC ticker will be NFNT.U. Dave, you're going to hang around for the Matterport earnings. Uncle B, uh, might be. I have powder. Can't decide what to buy. The struggle is real. Uh, D, I'm guessing Matterport earnings aren't going to pump the, with this $2 decline from midday. Um, I don't know. Uh, you know. Goes down, it's a bargain. Goes up. Yay. Uh, financials are not, are not going to show a, any money made. Uh, they're not going to make any money. I, I don't think so. Uh, they're, they're closer to break even. What we're looking for is how many new clients have they got? How is the company growing uh, from that angle? That, that's only what it's about. Fenville, oh, crap. I just rolled my $6 covered call for 240 strike January 2022 to 250 uh, strike June 22 for 19 bucks per share for an extra $11,400. This calls for a donation. Look at that. Six covered calls, 240 strike uh, to 250 uh, to June 22. Nice going. Wow, exciting stuff. Things are happening here. Awesome sauce stuff. I love this. 1495 on Rocket Lab, 23 on one on SoFi, 218 on uh, GameStop. Matterport, 2348 down 42. ME up 31. Spire, 577 up 3 cents. Getting hit at the end like it always does. Uh, do you think there's manipulation going on in Spire? Do you think? Uh, do you, you think? Uh, is this evident? Uh, Fenbell, thank you for the donation. Fenbell, thank you for the donation. I, I didn't say the other name. I just said Fenbell. Uh, how about that? Paul, Drew, hold on to your powder for some pullbacks and these buy these dips. Michael, Matterport, SoFi, Spire, will all have negative earnings per share, most likely. Island Girl, Michael Bruce, when you were in the biz, did you use the Norbit's Gambit when purchasing U.S. stocks with Canadian dollars? I have no idea what that is. Three-minute warning, says Larry. Uh, to Larry, um, Drew, Paul Rodriguez, good call. Fenville, awesome. He got name right. Uh, I'm laughing my you-know-what off. He got the name right. Fenville, uh, thank you for the donation. Fenville, 219 on GameStop, up 1173. Okay. Oil under eighty seventy nine dollars seventy three cents down four eighteen. Oil taking a dump. Um, why does Spire go up when I'm trying to pick low cost fruit? Um, apple, apple, apple. Spire's coming back to you. Five seventy seven. Here it is. Come and get it. Spire. Uh, Five seventy seven. It's on sale. Two ninety on ATIP though. Up three and a half cents. Uh, Fanville, you really are banking on no digital marketplace news. Speaking of gambits, we need a way to send you a copy of Fairless Gambit. Hot off the press, I'll get to you. I'll get I'll get back to you that, that later. I'll, I'll get you. unless I guess you close those off. And uh, Fanville, yay, he got the name right. Michael, uh, just don't chase it. Uh, uh Medicor, just don't chase it. Um, Rocket Lab now 1497, trying to hit 15 with two minutes to go. SoFi 2298, GameStop 21887, Matterport 2353, down only 38 cents. Uh, ME up 32, Spire 577, ATIP 290 up three, Smart Rent down 35, six Sixtera down two. Here we are. Dow's up 108, coming in the last minute of the day. Uh, they're getting ready. One minute to go. It's official on CNBC. Um, I do have shares in my IRA and uh, broke link for that. Uh, Mr. Mojo up 52% in the last three months. I was down big in the very beginning of learning this stuff. I just look at that as a cost of tuition to get the hang of this and always be learning every day. Thanks, Bruce. Mr. Mojo, thank you. Thank you for those kind words. Um, let's see. True that, says Medicor. Let's see how we go. We've got more money to make, uh, much more on the table to come on in here. 
Uh, you know, today's another day, though. We're down to seconds. Uh, we're down to seconds. We're up 98 on the Dow. little pullback at the end, but it's going to be a record high close. Same with S&P, same with NASDAQ. Record highs, 218 on GameStop, 218.27. Uh, got our run. Deuces, Bruce. Thanks, Mike. Call uh, 10 seconds, says Larry, to Larry. Larry, uh, ringing the bells, baby. We're in, We're clapping. It's all over. Yay. We're clapping. Yay. It's all over. The day is done. Um, Finville, uh, do you do, but I'm keeping my exposure in mind and selling it only during big peaks or loading up on calls and flipping those on peak tips, but keeping my exposure in mind until the news. Uh, Farragan, uh, there's it. there it is. We're done. Spot on, Larry. Good job, team. Uh, thank you, Larry. Uh, we're closed. Another day in paradise. How many thumbs ups we got today? Are we getting any thumbs ups from you guys? Uh, I got 218, I think. Uh, 218 thumbs ups. If you're able to spare a thumbs up, anybody, help out this show, this channel. Uh, get the word out there that we're here talking about some of these stocks. That would be great. 218 thumbs ups with eight on the downside. 227 now on the thumbs up side. Thank you, guys. Hit the thumbs ups for us and uh, help us get exposure from YouTube. 218.35 on GameStop. Looks like the final trade on the day. 218.29 up 11.30. On, on a regular day, we'd go, oh, that was a great day. Oh, that was fantastic. Then we take a look and we hit it high of 255. We go, oops, it went up to 255 today. What happened there? There was money made today by GameStop players for sure. Um, exciting stuff. Uh, so exciting. Um, incredible. Those of you out there who'd like to have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, session with me, um, unless, uh, and if you don't know, I do one-on-ones where um, um, I'll link you into this system right here and we'll talk. I'll, have, I'll be on this half of the page. You'll be on this half of the page. If you'd like to have a one-on-one -on -one session with me to go over your portfolio, your hopes, dreams, aspirations, your you have questions about option writing, you just want to know about whatever, I do one-on-ones. Um, Saturdays and Sundays is when I do them. Uh, Eastern time, I start at about 10 in the morning Eastern time, uh, Saturdays and Sundays. I go to about 2 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, so if you're interested in having a one-on-one, -on -one, send me an email. Uh, say, Bruce, I'd like to have a one-on-one -on -one with you. Uh, here's my email address, brucefarman at hotmail.com, old school. Uh, just say, hey, I'd like to have a one-on-one -on -one with you. Uh, can you uh, fit me in this weekend or next weekend or the weekend after? I'd prefer, um, you know, uh, early in the morning or uh, or uh, around noon hour or whatever. I usually do uh, sessions at 10 in the morning Eastern, 12 Eastern, and 2 Eastern. Those are usually the three times I offer. Um, just figure out what works best for you for your time frame. Let me know. And uh, we'll see if we can squeeze you in. Um, uh, the cost is 400 an hour, $400 US for an hour. And uh, hopefully, um, within 15, 20 minutes, we'll cover so much ground that you'll go, this is worth it. Um, if we can help you make money on option writing, you'll make more than $400 on option writing. Um, you'll quickly get your investment back. Uh, let me know if you want to get it together. We'd love to talk to you. And uh, we'll go from there. Saturdays and Sundays, 10 Eastern, noon Eastern, and 2 uh, in the afternoon Eastern time is when I'm available for one-on-ones privately. And um, you can talk to me about what you want to talk about. Uh, some of you talk to me about your careers. You talk to me about what's happening in your world. Uh, some of you are going through some tremendous changes right now. Uh, mom and dad are getting older. Uh, grandma and grandpa passed away. Inheritances have come through. You got kids. You're empty nesters. You're thinking of retiring. You would really like to not work anymore. You need advice. I'm here. Uh, let me know if we can help. Uh, Kind of go from there. Thank you, everybody, for uh, for being here. It's great that you're here, and I appreciate all of your uh, all of your uh, kind words and uh, the thumbs ups that you've been hitting us with. 287 thumbs ups now. Thank you. Keep them coming on in. Uh, love those thumbs ups. Uh, hit that thumbs up button for us. That would be terrific. Uh, the markets have hit new all time highs uh, to close out the day today, so we're doing all right. Um, better, better markets indeed. Um, 1491 last trade on Rocket Lab, ATIP 290, uh, GameStop 218.29, um, AMC closed at 40.83, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond at uh, 19.30 was the final trade for Bed Bath & Beyond, Spire 578 up four. 
Um, what else is going on? Oh, Zillow took a hit today, down twenty-one dollars to sixty-five bucks. Yikes! SoFi twenty-two ninety-six, up twenty-eight cents. Smart Rent thirteen seventy-five, down twenty-eight cents. Uh, boy, Avis took a hit, down sixty bucks. Ouch! Matterport twenty-three fifty-eight. Waiting for Matterport to release financials. They will come out uh, with their financials. We are told. We think, um, waiting to find out when that is going to hit. Um, we're not sure if it's going to make a difference to the stock over the uh, in the after hours or not. We we will wait it out. We're at twenty three fifty eight unchanged on Matterport uh, for for uh, for contracts. There you have it. Uh, thank you all. Um, and uh, let's see here, uh, um, uh, Debbie. Thank you. I'll get back to you, Debbie. See if we can squeeze you in. Uh, you will leave it to me. I'll see if we can squeeze you in for for a one on one. Um, yeah, uh, fantastic. Um, and uh, uh, T Bone, we'll get back to you. Um, um, I'll be back at you as well. Uh, just hang tough, everybody. Um, those of you looking for one on ones, we'll we'll get back to you as soon as we can after I'm off the air. Uh, we'll see what's we'll see what's going on. Um, thank you for those of you who are picking up lessons. Some of you are picking up uh, lessons today um, on how to do this. And uh, I appreciate that. I hope you find them uh, helpful. If you need any help with any of these, you guys let me know. I will uh, I will uh, set you up uh, in case you have any trouble with uh, how to view the lessons or anything else. Fantastic. Um, very good. Very good to have you here, everybody. And thank you for joining in. Uh, those of you who are becoming new members of this channel, thank you. Those who are becoming subscribers, thank you. 303 thumbs ups now. Uh, we're over 300. Thank you for that. Very good stuff. Uh, Matterport uh, trading at twenty three thirty down twenty eight twenty three forty now, down only uh, eighteen cents. Uh, is Matterport uh, uh, any releases anywhere? We're waiting and watching, um, waiting to see if any announcements come out on Matterport. Waiting for earnings to be released. Um, we'll see if that has much of an effect on the stock. If anyone sees anything on Matterport, let me know. Uh, if you find anything from your end, okay. Uh, Larry, thumbs ups for you. Only eight haters. Uh, let's see here. Let's continue on here. Uh, I just got a market watch alert for Matterport. Third quarter details. Um, let's see. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Um, Daniel, oof, rough day on a covered call for GameStop. I did learn quite a bit about buying back and kicking the can slight down the road today. I had some 187.50s. That I bought back and I sold uh, for 190 to 192.50s for the same money. Interesting. Um, let's see um, what else here. Uh, got a market watch alert. Uncle Bruce and Zillow took a hit. Is it a good time to buy a house from them or uh, or stock drop? Doesn't matter as much right now if you're buying. Sorry for the off-topic question. Yeah, I wouldn't be trying to buy a house off them right now. <laughs> uh, although you might get a good price. I don't know. I really don't know. They're they're going to sell off their houses. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, Matterport, Matterport uh, revenue miss. It says smart up two bucks uh, after hours. Uh, smart rent. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, Fifteen fifty up one seventy six on smart rent after hours. What is happening on smart rent after hours? We got a pop here on smart rent. Um, this is interesting. Um, wasn't expecting this. 2292 on Matterport down 66. Uh, smart rent. Is this a legit or is this a miss or is this just a glitch? I'm not sure if this is real. Um, uh, 1550 on 185 volume. So that might be just a glitch in the computer. Not sure if anything happens on smart rent to cause that. Um, Matterport 2358 was the close 2260 on the aftermarket down 98 cents uh, Matterport looking for any kind of press release can't find one can't find any press release on it if anyone sees anything let me know all right um let's see uh 27.7 million compared to 29 million expected on revenue maybe um i really don't think that's going to have much effect long term on this uh, Let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Matterport down 50 cents after market. Uh, good time to get some cheap stock. Exactly. Uh, people are thinking that's what I'm going to do. Hoping for a massive drop on Matterport to get back in. Hoping it's going down. I'll have a good earnings. I smart, say smart rent after hours. I'm not sure what's going on about this. Um, hope you guys uh, stole Matterport calls before, sold Matterport calls for the earnings. 
Matterport just took a hit. I uh, should have waited to sell my cover calls till tomorrow. It's a misprint, people are saying. On smart rent, that's a misprint. A smart rent now, 1451. It's jumping around. Matterport earnings are out. Just gave you the info. Zillow trying to sell their houses in a bulk sale to other companies. So it's possible for the right price, they'll make sell to anyone. Um, let's see. They missed all the way around. Got smart uh, Got smart rent up 77 on Fidelity. Matterport announced its third quarter 2021 financial results. Total subscribers increased 116%. From a year ago, uh, paid subscribers rose 35%. Uh, smart rent at 1377. Uh, I may get to buy Matterport at 2250 back tomorrow. Um, what the matter, Matterport? Sorry, I'm t uh, taking a little mess today. Uh, sorry, I'm talking a little mess today. I have three laptops in front of me for work and my personal PC watching the show. Desk is a bit crowded, laughing out loud <laughs> right on. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, let's see what's going on here on this. Um, okay, uh, Matterport, uh, twenty-two fifty down a dollar eight at the moment on twenty-four thousand volume on the aftermarket. Uh, smart rent, uh, fourteen fifty-one up seventy-seven cents. Um, I see Smart Rent at fourteen fifty one. Smart Rent had one share exchange hands at fifteen fifty, but others are closer to thirteen fifty. Fat Finger grabbed Matterport at twenty two sixty. I'm buying. I'm so happy the Matterport missed. I can't wait to buy a bunch. They didn't miss that bad. Even three laptops instead of one desktop with three monitors. Come on, man. Uh, Lob, you just might get a re great deal. Why not get in touch with them? Uh, Matterport twenty two fifty um, down a dollar eight. A Smart Rent fourteen fifty one. Matterport 2289 down 69 cents. Smart rent 1377. Sheesh, my lord, uh, it's jumping about. Uh, smart rent. Uh, let's see what we have here. S M R T. Smart rent uh, 1451 up 77 cents at the moment, but only 235 volume. I don't know if this is a real DM. They are laptops issued by my employers. I don't have a choice to use a PC. Oh, they are pounding Matterport with a single bids. Uh, single bid Matterport, twenty-two seventy-two, down eighty-six cents. Twenty-two seventy-six. Uh, twenty-two seventy-two. Excuse me. Um, okay. Uh, Smart rent still showing fourteen fifty-one up seventy-seven cents. All right. Matterport, twenty-two fifty down a dollar eight again. Or jumping around on Matterport. Smart rent now uh, showing um, fourteen fifty one up seventy seven cents. Got no, I have no news. I, I got nothing here. I have no press release. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. So I don't know. Um, don't know. Don't know. Um, Matterport twenty three fifty eight last trade twenty two fifty on the uh, aftermarket down one oh eight. Uh, smart rent fourteen fifty one. Okay. That's what we're looking at right now. Um, looking back at your comments, uh, smart rent dropped into the close around thirteen fifty. Not jumping around. It's at thirteen seventy seven. Uh, total revenue, Joe says, uh, two twenty seven million, up ten percent compared to third quarter last year. Subscription revenue, fifteen million, up thirty six percent compared to third quarter. Um, one for employer, one for contractor, one for older laptop. We put it the old. <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, okay, um, annual recurring revenue at sixty-two million spaces under management grew to six point two million, up sixty-two percent compared to third quarter of twenty twenty. Total subscribers increased to four thirty-nine. Is Market Watch and Fidelity the one showing smart rent fourteen fifty or something? Joe, uh, gap loss uh, eighty-six cents, not gap loss six cents. Okay, smart rent uh, is asking eighteen thirty-one. Thirteen thirty-one is the highest bid. Nothing in between. Jennifer, Uncle Bruce, feeling good about potentially not buying back my Matterport December call. Uh, one stock goes up, five other stocks you own go down. Uh, last one sold for fourteen fifty one. Uh, we're, we're we're jumping all over the place. Twenty two sixty now on Matterport. The good news, kids, if Matterport is lower tomorrow morning, you can buy your calls back for cheap. If it goes back up again, you write them again. Uh, so that's the beauty of Matterport. We're not going down a lot. I don't think so. Uh, the company continues to grow. Uh, 2272 right now. 1451 on Smart Rent last trade. I don't know how real that is. I don't know. Uh, like people are saying here, there's all kinds of uh, stuff going on on the stock. Uh, we, we, we just don't know. All right. So there you have it. Um, 
my my uh, my um, iPad won't even work properly for giving me additional quotes. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, so don't mind me as I try to uh, figure out where we're at here. GameStop two seventeen fifty on the aftermarket down seventy nine cents. A five dollar spread on smart rent. As a $13 stock, that's just silly. It's had a wide bid ask all week, too. It doesn't generally trade in the aftermarket. And so, you know, we just can't take it very seriously uh, on, on these stocks. Um, smart rent bid ask, 1350, uh, $15.50 ask now. Wide, wide spread. $23 on Matterport, down $0.58. Cents. We're coming back up there, apparently, from what I can tell you. Um, I don't know what's going on with... Uh, with my big ass iPad, it's just not even giving me uh, stock symbols anymore. So, got all kinds of problems here. Twenty three thirty four on Matterport down twenty four cents. Now, SoFi back to twenty three, and uh, SoFi now. What's SoFi doing? Oh my gosh, uh, we're jumping everywhere on this aftermarket. Don't uh, don't read too much into it, kids. Um, until we really get some volume through here. Twenty three oh four up eight cents. SoFi. Uh, right there, twenty-three forty down eighteen cents on Matterport, down only eighteen cents. Uh, twenty-three forty last trade, twenty-three thirty-four according to my big ass iPad, and I don't know if I can believe it. Uh, I'm not sure if I can believe it. Um, my computer says twenty-three thirty-nine on Matterport, down nineteen cents on fifty-four thousand volume. That's a little more reasonable. Um, and there you have it. I don't know if there's any article on it yet. Let's see. Any press release anywhere? Nope. I got nothing on Matterport. I have no um, official anything on Matterport. Um, nope. Nothing here. Uh, it's jumping around. 23.38 down 20 cents. 23.49 down 9 cents. It's coming back up again. Go figure. Um... And let me take a look at uh, Smart Rent now. Last trade, 1451, still down, showing down 77 cents on Smart Rent. Uh, 1451 on my computer on 400 volume, so can't really read too much into that. SoFi on the aftermarket is showing 2304, up eight cents. Rocket Lab, uh, 1491 on the market, on the aftermarket, 1494, up three. Nothing much going on here. ATIP close to 290 on the big board. Uh, we're at 290 aftermarket, 400 volume. Uh, Spire close to 578 on the market, 579 on the aftermarket. Nothing going on. And uh, there you have it. Well, there you go. There you go. There you go. Democrats now will circle the wagons and pass spending bills. Analysts react to Virginia and New Jersey elections. Yeah, I'm thinking, hey, if you're not going to elect governors in these Democratic states, you guys, the Democrats, you might as well spend every spending bill you can get your hand on. Make it happen. You're not getting any help from anywhere else. Give the American people some money and you'll get votes. Uh, that's what they want. Um, Sun or snow, pick your winter backdrop, says Expedia. Thank you. Um, what can I say? All righty. Um, <laughs> uh, StreamYard, um, thank you to uh, to everybody here. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, I sold 14000 on Matterport, barely did anything to the stock. Um, the earnings weren't bad at all. I don't think it'll get the sell-off I'm looking for. Uh, Matterport Earnings Report, SEC website. Uh, what? Wheat Wild, thank you for this donation. Uncle Bruce, from my limited understanding, Matterport shows great third quarter results. Why they're dropped then? What am I missing? Um, is it really bad? It's down 24 cents. I'm not worried about it. This is, uh, we're fine. We're doing great. We're going to be okay. Credit, I put a $22 stink bid to buy 100 shares of Matterport right now. Put it in at 22.01. 22.01. Don't put in round number stink bids. Uh, earnings are so weird in 2021. Go MGM Go. Uh, we, well, it's named. It's normal during earnings. It's normal. It's all good. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's go back to, uh, sorry, let's go back to Matterport. I'm showing 23 even down 58 cents. Um 2201 stink bids, what I'd be putting in there if you're thinking of getting something on a stink bid. Uh, smart rent is now 1451 uh, on only 419 volumes, so nothing much going on 
on this market. Thank you everybody for being here. Okay, I just bought 10 smart rent on WeBill for 1408. Yippee ki yay. You know it's crazy when Avis covered calls are double Tesla. Um, I'll buy the dip on Matterport tomorrow if there is one. Uh, Delo, I just bought 10 smart rent for 1408. What is MGM? Uh, who cares? Um, anyway, there you go. Smart rent 1451 showing on my computer here on my thing, but I don't know if that's accurate. Uh, um, uh, too too crazy on these markets. Uh, Matterport 2334, uh, 2296 now, down 60 uh, some cents. My Biggest iPad is nowhere near accurate uh, on what's going on here. It is not working well right now. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going on here on this thing. Um, Matterport 2290 on my computer, 78,000 volume. Uh, smart rent on my computer, uh, laptop 1451 up 77 on 669 shares. Um, back to Matterport 2290 down 68. So there's some bargoons there, maybe, maybe not. I don't know if it's going to last into tomorrow or not. I just don't knew. I don't knew. I don't knew. I don't knew. Um, uh, what can I say? Avis down a dollar, two hundred ninety-nine bucks. Yikes! Yikes! Zillow closed at sixty-five fifty-seven. Aftermarket sixty-five ninety-five. Yikes! What an ugly day today. Um, Bed Bath and Beyond. Closed at 19.30 today, 19.45 in the aftermarket. Not like yesterday's aftermarket today, is it? No. Uh, GameStop closed at 2.18.33. GameStop now, 2.18. Down 33 cents. Um, all righty. Uh-huh, 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 uh -huh. SoFi, 22.96 on the big market. 23.03 in the aftermarket, up 7 cents. Uh, Rocket Lab closed at 1491 on the big market, 1493 on the aftermarket, up two. Um, Spire closed at 578. It is now 579 on the aftermarket, up a penny. Not a lot going on, uh, obviously. And um, yeah. Matterport, 2358 on the big market, 2291, down 67 cents on 79,000. And on um, smart rent, thirteen seventy-five on the big market, fourteen fifty-one, six hundred and seventy shares traded in the aftermarket. Very quiet, very little, not a lot to get excited about. That is the story, kids. Uh, on this afternoon, there you go. Uh, thank you, everybody, uh, for being here. Um, thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you had a good day, um, and um, hope some of you made some money. I think some of you did. Uh, thank you for those of you who made donations to Jennifer and I. You guys are awesome, as always, through PayPal and through Super Chat. Thank you. Uh, those of you who have renewed your subscriptions, uh, your membership, those who have joined as members, thank you. Thumbs ups today. Thank you for the thumbs ups. Uh, 330 of them. Thank you for those. Appreciate it. Um, have a great evening, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning, one hour before the opening. We'll see what's going on. Uh, there's a video coming out a little later today. Keep an eye open for it, and I uh, hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Uh, thanks again for all your support uh, for uh, for following me here. I uh, love it. And let's see how the markets react uh, tomorrow morning when we get going here. Uh, have a great night. Yippee-ki-yay. John Anderson, you have a good night too. Uh, Nick, uh, as I had internet issues the whole day today, Nick, you hang in there, buddy. Are we uh, getting together? Um, I, I sent an email. Check out the email. Uh, I sent an email today. Let me know for sure because I got people asking me for all kinds of stuff here. I want to make sure I'm set up here for everybody. Have a good one, everybody. Uh, bye bye, says Michael. Good night, all. DQ Paul, thanks, everybody. Have a good one, Larry. Have a good night, all. Take, take care, you guys. You have a good night, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 8 30, first thing. Eastern time. Let's make more money tomorrow and get richer. How about that? I like the idea. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. Bye for now.